lot no one i don't know if, he, if that was a mistake as far as pathing or did oh they put a tree down he put a tree down with his his iron oh. bench blocked him off that is an amazing play from our i've been waiting for somebody to do that man i i talked about it too in the first patch but nobody has done it that is sick that is actually so sick. And before this, I don't know how this... Oh, it only lasts 20 seconds. Okay, it's gone. Well, it's Juggernaut had a tango, but I mean, you don't expect that coming out of a mid lane Medusa. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. And once you spread the distance and you're you're kind of screwed, you're not going to be able to get the kill. Universe arrowed, by the way, in the top rune area. That's he does not have Icarus dive. And this is going to be first blood going the way back, unless he can deny himself to Ancients, but the last right click from the Marana is enough. And Vega on the board. Holding on to a level right now. I assume he's just going to get max shadow poison because you can just go yeah. in the jungle, oh, go stack for your teammates, which is really good for Arteezy, or he can just farm himself, which he probably won't they do. They can maybe kill Meg here. He's got level 2 soul catcher. Can go, uh... That's a definite possibility. And there's the Sumail's disruption soul time. catcher. Sumail's a little too late. And yeah. That Lit, set, by the way, for Sumail. Oh, solo in the meantime. TP's into a crush, essentially. Gets the shadow word off. He's taking quite a bit of damage, but we'll lift through this engagement. They can maybe re-engage here. He's got power treads on Sumail. Oh, the, the courier's going to get killed mid lane. Dyer's courier okay. Has been and Arteezy and Fear are going to live on towers taken out with pretty much no defense. It's whatsoever. actually going to be really hard for Vega to win Dyer's mid game team fights. I think the only way they win fights is if they burst somebody down. Arrow does land. He does mana shield in time though. In yeah, mid lane we're seeing a blade right. fearing game. No but... Tier 1 towers taken out at bottom. He's here. Fine. Doesn't have Black Bolt. Looks like he used it a while ago. I didn't even see that. But either way, no one taking a lot of damage. The universe comes into the fray with the Fire Spirit supply. He pops the Fairy Fire, and the Healing Ward will keep him alive. Very nicely played from no one. Well, we've seen games like this from Universe as well. And he ends up usually finding some farm and young use from this. As TPD gets a Disruption Soul Catcher combination onto Sioma, who has the Leap available. We use the high ground to his advantage. That was and pretty good damage. We'll get away. Um, and attack. yeah, the the egg isn't amazing here. Yeah, they lane, no one gets an omni slash off that. with mag and the avalanche toss combination. Wow. Somehow that wasn't enough damage to actually insta give him. A couple more right clicks were needed, but my god, they get the kill. Yeah, Titan, um, tower, I could see him doing a lot of good attack. things. Vega applying fights. pressure to the mid tier one. Universe trying to push the top Dyer's tier top one for himself, but attack. they've got a blink on soon. We're gonna see some TP action. Arteezy coming in oh, as the arrow will him. not connect on anybody other than an illusion. As he might die here. Tons of damage, dead. attempting to, to run away, but Universe has a lot of catch ability for himself. His black hole used on solo, and down goes the Warlock, who is still not level 6. Such a huge fight there by Ichi. I mean, the first one's really important. Before he gets Battle Fury, it changes the whole uh, acceleration of the game, especially when Medusa is getting advantage through that fight. And so he, he had a double damage the whole time yep. as well. Radiance bottom tower. Oh, Sioma attempting to run away, but the stutter step will get him killed and probably was dead anyway. So now rely on Black Hole, and they have other ways to stop it. They've got Arrow, they've got Avalanche, they've got the uh, AM multi. There's a lot of ways that they can well, stop Well, once Black he gets, Hole. I mean, I'm assuming he's going to go BKB at some point, right? And then the Chaotic Coffin is basically the only thing is fear. It's Avatar's combination. Arrow's gonna completely miss. PPD taking lots of right click damage to no one here. That's a good. He's gonna be dead one way or another. The mana void is what does it. PPD. He gets a nice just demonic purge on the blade fearing juggernaut. And he's just gonna TP out and be fine. Right. He can drain his mana. He can make it against Jug, and then Jug's illusions will crit himself. And if he gets four skill points in this, he can disrupt Medusa with split shot on. Right. And then he gets two Medusa illusions that do 60% damage for 12 seconds. Oh, Mag finds Universe, gets the Avatar's combination. That's enough to just burst that bird down to the ground. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Um, wants to go. Um, he could go more of a utility item like Rotobatos. He could go Guardian Greaves, for example, which could help against an anti mage Juggernaut's Invis. They don't even have Sentry here. Oh, Here's going to get here. Oh, You're going to be found out. Avatar's combination into the arrow. Blade Fury as well. In fact, Seattle Gotham is going to They're going to find you know, it pretty easily. Phoenix Egg pops. He's going to actually get this off for sure. Arteezy, look at the combination with the Stone Gaze, slowing everybody to a crawl. No one. He's actually going to TP oh, out, so he'll live everything. somehow. Mag in the meantime has Blink available to get out if he needs. He needs to. Arrow will connect on Arteezy. As PPD is getting beaten down by this chaotic offering, Gotham. As the bash comes into play for Sumail, into a crush. Solo, not going to get out of this one. Pops the Fairy Fire, but it's going to be... Too much damage coming his tem damage coming his way. The two for two exchange. Wow. Arteezy did fall, by the way. Warlock completely salvaged that fight. This makes him at like it's almost like he's level fourteen right now is what it feels like while looking at the skill book. Fear with that casual cloak. Puts down a midnight pulse in the top lane with a Malphus used as well. Mag takes quite a bit of damage, in fact. And Sumail's gonna follow it up with a crush. Dangerous. Air will not hit anyone as fear and Sumail getting so slowed by the upheaval. They're in quite a bit of trouble. There's some support from Universe. He has the egg 
and dive as Sumail just get Omni Slash solo. No one just destroys him with that Omni Slash. Mm -hmm. And Fear is next on the list. Big over. And unfortunately, there. Universe can't do a whole lot to help his teammate. Yeah, as soon as Sumail blinked forward, they. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these metagame <laughs> jokes are, those are pretty good. Pasha uh, taking the Ancient Sack, getting a ton of farm for the stun. Uh, Sumail so finds two with the crush. He's going to get Bash on top of them. Soul is in a lot of trouble. Could get up the Chaotic Offering, but another Bash comes into play and cancels the animation. This is going to be a cleaned up Ancient Stack. They got a good portion of it, but EG will take the rest. It's a huge kill there. They blink away. Where did Shadow Demon die? He died bottom lane of his own. I mean, then again, EG does Radiant's have pretty good counter initiation spells. Attack. They have the Egg, they have Arteezy's ult. And and obviously Black Hole, so we'll see. Arrow hits Fear on the side. And that means they know for that. sure that they're here in solo. There's the upheaval, being very annoying. I think they just kill it, it's solo. I know they're running. Yeah, they're gonna get scared off, I believe. Okay, he cancelled upheaval, they can definitely take it now. He saw that uh, solo uh, anticipated them rotating around. Oh, he has a ward up there. Upheaval down for 24 seconds now. Now it's easy. And arrow? It's going to be an easy end, so Arrow actually helps them. And here comes the Chaotic Offering, Snag is attempting to he's going to get the Aegis. And there's the Omni Slash to follow, our TV pops his ult, taking quite a bit of damage to the Blade Fury. But the Egg, is this going to be a full duration Egg yet again? It looks like it might be the case, our TV is very low right now. The Egg pops, stuns a couple of heroes for Vega Squadron, as the beautiful Mana Boy takes out poor Arteezy in the Avalanche Toss combination, finishes oh off Fear. Great defense for Vega, as Warlock is the only casualty at the current point in time. Pasha? The illusion's going to work on him, he's forced to blink out. But here comes the mag with the top, and TPD will be the third kill. What a fight for Vega there. Jeez, they, Luis. Okay, they saw the Roche with the arrow. The arrow gave vision. A lot of threats on Vega. It's upheaval, it's Omni Slash, it's Tiny. They're gonna find Tiny? Yeah, Tiny has found the crush will miss, and mag with the blink dagger four staff combo gets out safely. They're gonna get some wards down, is EG, but no kills will likely come, although solo. Are they just going to walk into him accidentally? That is going to be pretty crazy as the Midnight Shadow comes out, but Amplified Damage is going to give them easy vision. And bat I feel like Samil bashes every hit, <laughs> every other hit. He definitely bat. Going to need some some lessons here, Purge, as it looks like Samil might be caught off. Mag with the Invis Ring. So or hard. not the Invis Ring, it's a Shadow Blade, even. my goodness. Crush will come out at the same time as the Avalanche, and Sumail in a lot of trouble. AM is here to drain that mana. Armlet toggling up, but it would only last so long as he drops to the deck. But Phoenix. Um, amazing mechanics, stuff like that. So maybe I'm not thinking of something. Maybe we're completely off base here, but right now, I, I think you could easily justify a different DPD, item over. DPD. You're dead, bro. Right click, Avatar's combination, and blink away. He was scouted by Sumail as Mag blinks right in his direction. Of course, Sumail has the Invis rune right now. Oh, they see him because of the sentry. Now he's out of range. Another sentry is placed. Av Avalanche toss again into an upheaval. And Sumail, ay ay ay, not with he what he was expecting. Looking for a solo kill, but instead just dies. Bleed. And they are prime in position to take game two of this best of five grand finals. Captain's Draft 3.0. Pasha. It's going to be happy with the, the tier 3 tower taken out, and they're going to fall back to safety. Although, oh, there is some the catchability. Away first look, or that. Okay, well, Universe dies right off the bat. Sumail misses the crush, and there's the Omni Slash. Moonlight Shadow, Chaotic Offering combination. No one blade fearing out. Looks like they want to play this, this defensively. As they can the Golem is taken out with ease. I mean, right, especially if he gets Manta as well. He could just all of a sudden have four Medusa illusions, split shotting five targets. Yeah. During the Medusa ulti, oh, Mag between the amps. at the secret shop will find the Avalanche Fox combination. Mag can go stick out here as he pops his mech. Sumail getting bashes left, right, and center, along with the Malefice coming into play. And the Amplified Damage isn't going to be enough to get the kill. And indeed it is. <laughs> Enigma's like, thanks for the 1200 gold, bro. <laughs> go for Aghanim Scepter or anything? No. If, if you play the ganking style, you don't really need the Ags too much. Mm. Just the Hyper Stone alone, going into regular AC, still gives you really good damage. They're going oh, in. Oh, Pasha is bound into a crush a and a black hole. Soul Catcher used. And Kiyosh oh, is a little bit too late. The anti mage pulls out of the Omni Slash. He's going to tear up Fear. That's a one-for-one -one exchange to start this engagement. Arteezy pops his ult in the meantime solo. The Moonlight Shadow attempting to get away the Phoenix Egg. Feels like it pops every single fight, so very nicely done for Universe. As he's been using those Diffusal Chargers on the Chaotic Offering, it seems. And with that, it's a two-for-one. No one pops the drums, and he looks like he'll get out okay. He used a lot of Diffusal Blades there. I mean, if Warlock's still going to be alive. I mean, that's the thing. Like, Tiny isn't even technically... Like, he's the off lane, and he's super farmed right now. He can burst damage pretty much higher than any hero in oh, the game right now. Oh, they're going to do a mid. Okay, well, I don't know how that happened, but Juggernaut dies.
huge kill. Now they can take Rush for yeah, that, sure. I mean, that, that one kill is a 1,500 gold swing. That just shows how far EG is behind at the moment. Yeah. Of course, they have a lot of potential for these fights. They have Black Hole. They have a great team fight, does EG. So Vega cannot get Dyer's overconfident. Solo has upheaval, ready to go if needed. And there we go with... We saw the Sunray. I believe it was Universe as well in the EG game that we were casting. Come on, play Fear. Initiate on. Nice disruption by PPD. But it looks like Fear will drop one way or another. Although, he's going to have a hood. He's getting healed up. And actually, Posh is the one taking a lot of damage. He pops the BKB, but he just gets Look. ripped right through. And Solo, in the meantime, in the wrong place at the wrong time, the egg will come to fruition yet again. And Sioma does TP out, so that's a saving grace for Vega, but they've lost three in this fight. I mean, the Fatal well, Wands were amazing, but it was just... They just didn't get any kills. Oh, they almost actually killed Tiny there. Dyer's Disruption onto Arteezy. They killed a Manta very shortly as well. They're looking for heroes, but they... Oh, they see Maggie's invis, so they know he's there. He's hit so hard, actually. Sioma's on the side as well, pops the Moonlight Shadow. Here comes Noah, and he gets backed up right away! This is just, oh, oh my god, he gets destroyed! Uh, There's no buyback for him, he didn't get to use Omni Slash. Tasha comes in, but he gets black holed immediately. The Chaotic Offing will cancel things up as Fear gets destroyed to the Mana Void. Aegis will pop, force to mail Arteezy on the run. The Mana Drain is just coming into fruition now for Vega Squadron, as they're gonna clean up Arteezy, and unlikely he's getting healed up thanks to the Universe on the cool. side, though. Pasha jumps in, looks to right-click the Universe, but Pasha, he so in, he doesn't close. have a blink out again! He has Buyback 80 seconds cooldown if he doesn't want to use it. Arteez in the meantime drops to the deck. It's a 3 for 3. Disruption by PPD. He's one hit away from dying. So Mail somehow blinks out. Gonna he might actually live through this. Barracks. Yeah, they I'm thought he went to trees there, so he's going to end up living there. What? Just finished AC. He's going to have to get an MKB afterwards, most likely. Oh, they might get Mag, though. And Mag Malefist up. Oh, the did, was that his force? Yeah, it was. He messed oh, up. Oh, that's a huge mistake as Tiny gets decimated by Sumail's right click with the amplified damage. There's no way he's getting out of this. And that's 75 okay. seconds, no buyback. He's extremely survivable. He, Universe is going to sit in the back, wait for the proper Look opportunity. Look at the range, man. <laughs> Heal if needed. Yeah, he's actually not even on the same screen. He's literally in his fountain base. That's <laughs> Aether Lens, man. It's pretty abusive. But can they backdoor? Oh, he goes in. Oh, my God. Solo initiated on by Sumail, and he gets instigated. 60 seconds on the deck for him. And there, this is a 3v5. This is a full rack, maybe even two. Bottom rack is going to be easily taken out. No defense for Vega. Dyer's and the mid lane will be the choice for EG and company, as they have made a huge comeback in this game. Yeah, they've, they're playing really well, but they I don't think they need to. I mean, they can take this out and TP back, I believe. They can just start TP back now. As Pasha's working on the melee rack to bot lane, Fear's gonna jump in with his black hole. A couple more TPs are gonna be a little bit delayed. Pasha has the BKB in tow, will blink out to safety, will not get the racks though. That is a huge gambit. Pasha in the meantime gets the Fusal Blade slowed, will blink out again. Universe, I don't think he can catch him. Gonna yeah, try to cancel, but no, nothing is gonna come. That's two racks for EG, and they save bottom. I mean, a sacrifice, a sacrifice in Sumail is well worth it at this point. And Juggernaut almost died as well. Looks like Sumail tried to up uh, an all or nothing here thing for Vega. Of course, the buybacks are online for majority of EG, so we'll see what come what happens in this engagement. Melee. Yeah, Rack comes to destroy. No one already close to half HP in the crush. Follows suit. Healing one in a nice position. Avalanche cross combination from Mag. Black hole is it available? Not for 30 seconds. Chaotic offering. Phoenix Egg comes out. They haven't killed this one time, by the way. And this fight has not had a good start, at least not yet for Vega. So getting back. Crush on two or three. And no one. It's already used to the game. Omni slashes off cooldown. And that's already a warlock dead. Juggernaut is next. Not looking good for Vega, as the Crush is going to cancel the TP for Sioma. It's a Courier too, with the Skull Basher. Yeah, Courier with the Skull Basher is available for the, the taking. They're chasing, they want more heroes though. Well, it looks like at least Mag will get out, Pasha as well. He still has the Aegis, so that's at least one silver lining there for Vega. Flyback comes into play for no one on the Juggernaut. He does not have Omni Slash for 45 seconds. I have a hard time believing they're going to be able to defend this without some sort of miracle. As here comes the initiation, Pasha was disrupted. Oh, look at the died. damage, the right clicks, it was like three or four right yeah. clicks. That's Soul Catcher. Oh, so now trying to time the crush perfectly. The man Wait, actually the dodges it quite nicely, but again, He's too much down. in the way of EG. Arteezy takes out the racks, and that is mega creeps on the way of them. And this looks to be a 2-0 advantage for EG in the grand finals of Captain Shop 3.0. GG come out, black hole, just to add insult to injury, Pasha will die one more time. What a game from EG. Vega played very well going into it. I mean, Mag had an incredible performance in the offlane. He had better team fight than their opponents.